Hi guys, this is PCM Agostinho and this is going to be the third part of uh, my career mode uh, career mode with only Portuguese riders uh, to try to get the world tour and then win the, the, the grand tours and the world championships and all that um, so uh, we in this episode I'm going to show you a bit of the Volt Olentej where we're going to try to achieve one of our sponsor objectives and that objective is to get a stage win so it's going to be hard uh, stage wins are only stuff when you really have a team where um, <laughs> where your riders are really not as good as the opposition uh, here the opposition isn't spectacular uh, so it's it's a, a two a dot two uh, race so no World Tour teams, but still, there's a few Portuguese teams who have riders that are better than ours. For instance, Moreira here. Uh, yeah, 73 Mountains, 72 Hills, 72 Acceleration uh, is a lot better than our guys. But our guys have uh, Fitness Peaks, uh, our best guys, uh, Saavedra, Domingos. Uh, so we'll try to, to see what they can do, we'll protect him, we'll try to then in the end form some sort of drain to try and see if we can um, fight for that stage win um, and yeah that's going to be th that's going to be our plan J just before I start uh, the the race, the, the Volta Lentes. I just wanted to show you my short list of guys that I'm. Uh, I want to sign eventually, uh, not not just not at the end of this, this season because, as you can see, most of them are not available. As you can see, João Almeida uh, is one target that we really cannot afford anytime soon. Uh, he makes ninety-one thousand a month, so that's more than. <laughs> The budget of our whole team but maybe in a few few years if the season goes as we want it to go we can try and get uh, João made in our team uh, then we got Yuri Littel he can be available at the end of the season uh, but I'm not sure he is going to be such a big priority um, just now uh, I mean he'll obviously be a big upgrade to what we have and he has sprinter potential, he can improve, he's already 73, 73, 73 sprint, 73 acceleration, but I'm not sure we want to uh, tie up a lot of money at the moment with any rider basically, because what we want to do here is at the end of two, 2024, uh, so after uh, not this season the next one we really want to get this guy as you can see uh, Morgat he is if you're gonna get to the world tour is gonna be with this guy uh, just a look at that stage racer potential climber puncher even time trial is not that bad so this is really the guy we want to get and we want to get it we cannot get it at the end of this season because he still has a contract with Hagen's Berman Axion but we really want to get him in the end of 2024 so we don't really want to be we want to have a lot of cap space there I'm not sure how, mu how much it's going to cost to get him at that point but and if he's going to have interest in our team that's another thing hopefully he does um, but yeah we want to get that guy and we also want to get his uh, his teammate um, Tavares because Tavares is pretty much on the same ballpark a lot of potential climber time trialist puncher puncher maybe not as much but yeah this we want to have these two guys we want to make this thing work get to the world tour we just gotta have these two guys on our team uh, otherwise it's gonna be really really hard unless some other talent shows up and it's worth it um, but yeah then we, I got some other guys on the list that maybe, maybe, maybe they are going to become good riders. This guy has a lot of potential as a puncher. He's already 67, so Pedro Andrade. 
maybe maybe it's going to be in our team as well in the upcoming future um then what else we got for for the uh, for the short term uh we got some guys who have some potential uh pedro silva has a lot of potential as a sprinter so this is one of the best young portuguese riders i could find in terms of potential so he's, he, he is probably going to be a target uh then we got francisco Moraes. he's not spectacular but a bit of potential as a puncher so might be a guy we may want to have as um as a helper mainly as a domestic for the team then we got two guys with only 18 years old daniel lima he has got a ton of potential as a puncher is not that great now but he's only 18 years old so maybe we can try and get him for next season because he is uh, free for next season maybe you can try and get him on a one-year contract and maybe then sign him for a few more years uh, and then we got this guy Ruben Rodrigues he's also has a r relatively medium potential uh, it's a lot better than what we have he can be a half decent climber and puncher so he can be a good helper for the team as well in the future so and these were the guys that I looked into we also I, I didn't see here Andre Carvalho is reasonable now uh, but he doesn't have much potential he's already 25 years old so not a big priority we'll have to wait and see because the big priority is getting Morgado and Tavares so what we might do is we might look at the guys that um, don't have a contract for next season we'll, we'll try to maybe get a few veterans in a one-year deal guys that are an upgrade to the to the the guys that we have <laughs> which is not too hard to get if we can get a guy with like 70 mountains 70 um, hills something like that that would be a, a, a guy that can really help us get our team objectives and if we do our sponsor objectives and if we can get that we can certainly uh, get the super success get the bigger budget and we're gonna need the bigger budget to get uh, those guys there uh, I am assuming Morgado and Tavares they are not going even though they are in a minimum salary uh, at this time I'm not sure at the end of the next season they are not going to demand I don't know 20k 30k something like that and we really need to have uh, room in our budget for those guys but yeah let's go to the race now and then we'll get back to this in the future hopefully so the race is starting and we got a plus five for Saavedra so that's really good he is going to be our main guy so he's going to have uh, for today he is going to have 73 hills 70 67 sprint and 71 acceleration so that's really good hopefully we can uh, we can get a good result here uh, the stage win is always going to be hard even with him drawing a plus five uh, Domingues has a plus two not that bad but not great either considering he had the fitness peak so we'll try to protect our main guys uh, it's probably going to be Domingos, Saavedra, and maybe, and surely Salvador is at the plus 5 for today as well. And the other two guys are just going to be on the sticks, and I'm going to protect these guys, and then pause the game, and uh, pause the video, not the game. <laughs> and then uh, show you what is going on later. Yeah, and uh, we're just 30 k's from the ending, so we really want to be uh, we want to win. What we really want to be, uh, want to want to get some water first. I think that's that's going to be the priority. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, 30 k's. This is the penultimate climb, so we need to be up there. Everybody's effort is 85, so we don't get uh, dropped here on the back group as we did. Saavedra is up there with the best guys, so that's the good news. But these guys just uh, lost contact. 
think we can still get get them back. I'm gonna form a little train here and try to get them back into the race. Uh yep. Okay, so let's put Cabral here. On a 99 effort. Just try and see if we can get to the front as quickly as possible. Only 50 k is left. Uh and we'll really need to get there. Uh, I mean, we're only 27. Um, Saavedra might have a better, ch a better chance. But... I don't think this guy's gonna get there. Are they? Uh, they are, they are. I think the... the 20 s that group there is slowing down a bit. So maybe we can get there. I mean, Cabral... Uh, Cabral is, is... He got there, so... We got there. Let's see if we can now form a train just before that final climb Skavel can get in front there we can we are going to put Gouveia Gouveia and Saavedra as well in that train so this seems good maybe Rodrigues behind Gouveia okay Cabral doesn't have anything left in the tank. I'm gonna give a gel to to Gouveia. Let's try and see. It's a lot of case to the finish line. So we've already got four in the next few case. Uh, let's see. I'll probably give a gel to the Minks right now. So Gouveia still has a bit of a yellow bar, so we're gonna keep with him for now. But now the Mings has to has to get in the work and do the work because we are slowing down a lot. And let's see. We are in a good position. Uh, that is that is true. Gel for Salvador. Let's see Domingues. What if he can give us a bit more here? The contenders are accelerating, but they're not going anywhere. Gel for Domingues and Saavedra, perhaps as well. So he's just gonna give a bit more. Now, Salvador is going to go 99, maybe not 99, just. Cut that down a bit. Still, that's that's a big, big effort there. A and we are getting swallowed by those guys. But 99 now. Let's see if Dominguez can now probably sprint with Dominguez, and then Saavedra to give that last final kick at the end. I mean, Saavedra is going to have to sprint now. And uh, I'm going to try and <laughs> take the mix out of the way. See if Saavedra can go. And sprint. I mean, Saavedra can. He is looking like he might win. And we get that stage win. And 1-2. Wow. Did not expect this. Things went really well. We were able to form the train. And get the sponsor objective right on the first uh, <laughs> attempt. So, really good. Uh, really great result. One two. I mean, Salvador was supposed to lead out <laughs> Dominguez, but he was just on a superb day today. He was a plus five. So uh, yeah, that's probably. I should have probably had Dominguez before Salvador, but I mean, it worked. I I cannot complain. So all right, stage win and the jersey. And uh, well, I'm, I'm not gonna do the rest of the of the bottle in there. Probably gonna seem through it. Uh, if we get a win, if we get a good GC result, okay, better for us. But I mean, uh, I'm not gonna do it. I want to to get through this season really fast. I just want to get that super success and get to the transfer period. And I think with this win, we are getting really close to it. Uh, so. I'm just going to sim and see, quick sim the, the next stages and see where we end up here. 
Um, and uh, Volta Lintez is in the books. Let's see uh, the final results. Uh, I haven't seen them yet. Uh, so second stage, uh, Domingos got a top 10 on the stage. Apparently, uh, Salvador and Saavedra lost quite a lot of time. Saavedra lost a minute and a half. Uh, first stage was a flat stage, so probably everybody was in the main group, apparently. And uh, fourth stage also a sprint stage, and pretty much the same thing. We don't really have a good sprinter, so no one had a good... Uh, Good placement on the stage. Uh, and this last stage, Saavedra did a, did a top 5 here. Did a top 5. Too bad he lost a lot of time on that second stage. Uh, because otherwise he would have got... He would probably got a, a, a top 10. So no top 10 for Saavedra. Uh, Domingues uh, got a top 15. With a 13th place. Uh, so not bad. Uh, we got the sponsor objective, was, which was really, really important thing. Uh, nothing special here on the other, on the other classifications. So we have close to a super success. Um, not, not exactly there yet, but we are looking pretty good. This was a, one of the biggest objectives that we had for this season so a we were able to get that that was really 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 good um so the next one is a win in Cir circuit des ardennes uh <laughs> so got a flat not so flat stage hilly stage and another hilly stage very short hilly stage and another short hilly stage so we might might jump in there because that's also a reasonably big objective two and a half stars um i thought we didn't have a chance in those but maybe we do maybe we do or maybe you just go into may uh to flash our nest top 10 that's that might be a better better uh thing to do um and i think that's what i'm probably going to do uh just run through that uh, until the 7th of May, just to see if in the Flash Ardenes, another Healy, Healy Classic 1.1.2, so uh, probably not going to get a lot of big names out there, but probably going to have some Belgians from that second tier of teams, Continental Pro teams maybe, Continental teams that uh, are a lot better than us, so uh that's going to be probably probably a hard hard to get that top 10 but we'll have to wait and see uh what we can do and i decided to uh sim until the first of may as that is the day where we can start uh arranging our dossiers our transfers um so i skipped this circuit there then i decided not to do that a uh, bit of a gamble but yeah this uh just went from a super success to a success but i think we can still turn it around in uh in what's left uh until uh until july um but i decided to to just do that and probably now we'll look at uh, the dossiers uh, I don't know how we did there in that race. I suppose we <laughs> probably didn't do too well. We can try and look at that, but where are, where is that race? See if we this out then. Okay, so nothing there. Nothing there. Probably lost time in that first stage. Yeah. No surprise there. <laughs> no surprises. Some some. Some quality riders, quality continental pro guys. So we didn't really have much of a chance, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, 37th place. So nothing, nothing interesting there. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the dossiers and see. 
what we can do. We'll try to filter here, of course, for the Portuguese riders. And here, here we have the Portuguese riders. As you can see, not a lot of interest uh, in our team. So that's also not really a big surprise. Uh, let's see here. We might want to filter uh, in terms of interest. We're not going to be going with this 100% interest. <laughs> uh, that, I don't think there's much point in doing that. But this one, this guy's here with 51 to 75. We might just go with with those guys. Um, well, I'm going to take a look at, at, the, at the guys we got here and probably then going to select a few for our dossiers. And I just took a look to what we can get. And what we can get is not a lot. Um, I mean, the 16 to 30% is where we can get the, the guys that would be a, a big upgrade to our team. Uh, usually late time, for instance, would be a big upgrade in sprint. And as you can see, he still has potential to, to get better. So it's probably going to be our main target for the season as we cannot get anything much better i'm not sure that the <laughs> with 16 to 30 percent is going to be enough to get him um on our team by a re at a reasonable price but we'll try to do that as we don't really have much more uh better much better targets than this we got andre carvalho as you can as i as we saw before he doesn't have a lot of potential uh, then we got uh, Tiago Antunes. Let's try and look. I don't know why it opened that. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I clicked and clicked twice. It doesn't have much potential, this guy, Tiago Antunes, but he's reasonably good now. If you can get him signed for one year, uh, yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, but I'm not sure we're going to get him. Uh, Luis Gomes. He's still got a bit of potential. He's, he is already uh, 28 years old, so that's a problem. I'm not sure he's going to fulfill this potential. But he might be an option. And then what else we got? Bruno Silva. He's a, a really veteran guy. And he's not especially great at this time. Um, so I'm not sure we're going to use 10 points. Maybe I'm going to use the 10 points here on Tiago Antunes. Uh, and uh, yeah, these two guys are going to be a, a good upgrade to our team. They'll probably allow us to, to get our objectives next season. Um, so they're probably going to be our two main guys. And we may add a few guys if we if we see here a uh, few young guys that have potential. We're going to have to take a look at that. Well, after taking uh, a good look at every every chance I had, every guy I could get. Uh, there's not there's not much, not, not a lot of very great guys we can get, but uh, so I decided to spend the last 10 points with Andre Carvalho. Uh, maybe you can get him for just one season. Um, maybe you can get him for more than one season. It always depends on the budget we're going to have the guys that we're going to be able to keep then we're probably going to be able to get a lot of these guys here at the 100 percent uh interest we might get a f quite a few guys of those at one year contract just to to fill in the spots for the team we want to i think we're going to have a team of around 15 riders something like that so we want to do just that uh so we're just going to Spend those 10 points with with uh, Andre Carvalho, and we'll see what happens. Confirm the dossiers, yes. I have to see how much interest we can get from these guys. Maybe we are able to sign them or not, and we'll have to wait and see. And I think this is going to be it for this video. Um, we the next one will probably try to get those those objectives that we got next we got uh two races in may three actually we count 
the stage wins there in the Grand Premio Beiras e Serra do Estrela. We'll try to, to get that objective as well. Uh, so, probably get this few races on the next on the next video. But for now, um, we are done <laughs> with this video. Uh, so, hope you like the video. Like, subscribe if you did enjoy the video. If uh, g give me some feedback. Uh, and okay, that's it. See you soon.